made our first flight from Kauai to Oahu. So it's looking like my bag isn't gonna make it to St. George until at least tomorrow or the next day. I wanna give a shout out to Heidi who works here in Hawaii for Delta. You are super nice, Delta. Definitely, I love your customer service. I'm about to board this flight to LA. Last night, back in the US, this is what it's like coming home at times when you're an influencer. I'll, I hate that word, but we'll call it, this is what, it come, is what, it, what it's like sometimes to come home to. Um, I'm gonna open up one of these things because I think there is one specific box I'm looking for. Okay, I'm gonna open up this one and see how it goes. I need this, I need this for today. Very expensive letter opener. Ah. Hold on one second. What an idiot. <laughs> I meant this is the box I needed to open. Dang it! That's not it either. <laughs> what an idiot! Oh, what a loser! I meant this is the box I needed to open. This is the box. Don't at me here. You guys, I, I saw these. And I was like, ah, I need to get them. I need to give them a try. They're ugly, but something just spoke to me. Yes. Yes. Oh, and yes. What do you guys think? I don't own any dad shoes, but these, for some reason, I thought were just ugly, the right kind of ugly. So I'm rocking them. I'm gonna put them on right now. These were the other ones. These were the other ones. You guys know me in my shoe game. These were the other ones. I'm actually really excited about these too because they'll go so well with my cheetah print shirt. Um, what? Now this isn't what I thought. I did not know that. I thought they were just cheetah print but they have blue on that side. This side is zebra print with camo on that. Fire or not? And then the last pair I had to cop was, I had to, I had to cop. Like I, 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 I didn't have any options. You don't choose, you don't choose the shoe life. The shoe life chooses you, Alec Baker are the Pegasus. These are pretty clean. I love them because of the back. So they have that little point. They look like elf shoes. Like they look like- it Looks like you'd run fast with so. I probably will jump super high and run super fast. Should we do a workout in them and see what my 40 is? I like them though. So right now though, I'm gonna wear these ugly sons of a bitches <laughs> and I'm gonna rock them. They actually are going with my outfit very, very well. That's why, that's why I'm wearing this color right now. What? Steve, get at me. If you guys see this picture on Instagram, go say, I watched the video. Boom, boom. At Christmas time, literally opened up the shoes. I have to open up one more, you know, like Christmas morning when you're trying to save your presents, but you just can't. I got one more that I saw here that I've been really needing to open. Oh, it's heavy too. I ain't puppy. It's from movement. Um, okay, there's been something in here that I've been really needing. What is this? Oh, I like it. It's like dainty. Is that a girl watch? 
I think that's a girl watch. That's definitely a girl watch. There's a watch for you. Come on. Yes. I think these are what I've been needing. Yes. Okay, so I stare at my phone a lot. And true. The, I do. True. My phone tells me that all the time. These glasses, um, I have a fat head, so we'll see if they fit. But these glasses help reduce the amount of blue light. So you can stare at your phone longer and not have an eye strain. How do I look it up? That's pretty smart. What? Yo, roll that dance music, dude. Roll that dance music. You ready for it? About to drop it. This one's fancy. It came in. We got a little silver. This one right here. The names are always super cool, and I don't know if they put the names on there. But we have, we'll call this the silver with the infrared dials. Alec, what color do you want? I don't know what colors there are. There's perks are working for me, man. Besides <laughs> going to Hawaii. There's many perks. Have so. any girls slid into your DMs yet? <laughs> no ladies, comment. okay. For, no the two, for the two ladies that watch my videos. <laughs> you can slide into Alex's DMs. This is the brand new series. So we'll put the link in the description, and then if you guys use the Steve Cook code, you save 15% on any order, glasses included. So sunglasses, these specs that, besides just looking cool, and I have a fat head, and they actually fit. They look good. They do. I'm not paying you to say that. <laughs> well, that's a disclaimer on this video. <laughs> oh, oh, this one's real cool. This one's, this one's definitely that's cool. my jam. Crazy, movement. <sighs> Movement, I just saw movement on a commercial during Thursday night football, like last wow. night. So they're blowing up, that is for sure. The power of social media. I kind of like it, it kind of offsets this outfit. Kind of That's breaks good it with up. that outfit. All right, should we go, to, go get an acai bowl? I like it. I don't really think you guys probably want to see B-roll. We were talking about shooting some B-roll. Do you guys want to see B-roll of this slow motion? It's kind of weird, right? A lot of eye contact makes you uncomfortable. So instead, we're just going to show you B-roll of movement. Ready? Set. <sighs> that was a great acai bowl but it's time to work out now. It's the first workout I've had since I've been back, like in 48 hours, so. Um, I'm wearing my other shoes. The other shoes I got new. We'll see how I'll train in them and I'll give you a review. Also right now, the Gymshark sale. You guys can swipe up our, or swipe up. I think I'm on Instagram. You guys can go to my link on YouTube in the description and it'll link you to Gymshark, having the biggest sale of the year, 70% off stuff. This is, the acid wash, one of my favorite collections. Probably my favorite collection besides my Steve Cook line. Um, it's 30% off, up to 70% off on some stuff. You can get a, you know, a stringer, a, a great stringer for like 10 bucks. Best sale of the year, so go check that out on the link. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still not feeling great, guys. And I hate making excuses, but you know, I got like swollen lymph nodes in my lymph nodes in my groin, like nasally. I think I'm just fighting something off. I don't know why, if I have just a crappy immune system or just what it is, but I have a doctor's appointment on Wednesday. So I've been feeling kind of shitty for a while, like my chest and stuff. So hopefully maybe get on an antibiotic or something. That being said, gotta get a workout in today. One of the best things I feel like I can do when I'm, you know, just kind of feeling crummy is sweat. Let's get moving. So we're gonna jump into today's workout. And basically just do what we can. So hopefully, I find out a little bit more on Wednesday what's going on. Let me get some blood work going or something because I feel fatigued. Allergies? I don't know if it's it could be allergies. Like I, I, I said on the my my Instagram story the other day, my eyes are red and people wonder if I'm high, but I'm not high. I just have allergies. 
every time I come back from to St. George, it seems like I'm just constantly nasal dripping and stuff like that. So I don't know if you can get an allergy shot or something, but we're gonna see what it is and uh, hopefully get it figured out so we can have, be back to 100%. But let's get that workout in. All right guys, today, I haven't done a workout like this in a while. This is all hamstring focus, so it doesn't get more bodybuilder than this. And what we're gonna be talking about is when we're looking at the hamstrings, your hamstrings, you wanna create parentheses. You want your quad sweep and then your hamstring sweep. That right there is kind of the, the golden standard of hamstrings. And a lot of people, bodybuilders included, love to focus on our, our big awesome quads, but we usually don't train the muscles we can see as much as we train the muscles, or we usually don't train the muscles we can't see as much as we train the muscles we can see. That goes for chest and back, that goes for quads and hamstrings. So today, we're gonna focus only on hamstrings. Now, the two basic functions of your hamstrings, to bring the knee up, and then to bring the hip flexor back, kind of like in a running, in a running movement. So bringing the knee up, obviously, incorporates hamstrings, and then also kicking the hip flexor back, pretty much. So right there, you can see, you can see my hamstring. When my knee is back, or when my hip is back, you can see that, that hamstring hanging out there. There's really two basic functions we can do. And then everything else is kind of just, it's one of those two functions. So we have leg curls, and lying leg curls, standing leg curls, basically where that hip stays stationary, and we curl up. That's the same as bending the knee. That right there, same as bending the knee. The hamstring's getting worked. The other one would be a good morning, a straight leg deadlift, sprints, and that, what that's gonna do is extend us into this position. So we wanna make sure we hit both of these type of movements. If you're only training with one, a lot of bodybuilders just stick to hamstring curls, hamstring curls, hamstring curls. If you're only sticking to one, you're not getting the full benefits. You know, your quads or, or your hamstrings aren't gonna be as monstrous as they should be. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna warm up. Sprinting is one of the best ways to fire hamstrings. If you haven't sprinted in a long time, don't even worry about doing hamstrings today. Just go out and run 25 sprints. Do 10 of them as hard as you can. I guarantee you in the morning your hamstrings will be sore. Now, if you are a conditioned, you know, if you're in decent shape, your hamstrings are in decent shape, we're just gonna warm up with five 25 yard sprints. I'm gonna warm up to be getting to all out, and then we're gonna start our hamstring workout. <laughs> All right, first exercise we're gonna be doing, lying leg curl. If your gym doesn't have a lying leg curl, you could also do a standing leg curl. I like both of these machines equally because what we're gonna be doing right now is an isolateral. So we're gonna be working out each leg separate of the other. And really, whenever I do lying or standing leg curls, I rarely go above eight reps. The function of these movements right here really lends itself to lower reps and, and really using that eccentric part of the lift here. So what we're gonna be doing that eccentric part is on that way down, the eccentric part. So coming up, we're gonna go fairly fast. We'll do a quick little demo before I jump into it. Coming up, normal speed, you're gonna see my leg, toe is pointed up, not back yet. It's gonna be pointed up. So hips into the pad, come up, and came up a little bit stronger than I thought. And then four seconds on the eccentric part. And as I go on the eccentric part, I'm changing my foot placement, my toe placement, from up to now back. And you'll just feel that in your hamstring like crazy. Four seconds on the way down, toe goes back up, squeeze at the top, point, and back down. So we're gonna be doing four sets of eight reps on each leg, four seconds on that eccentric, toes pointed up on the concentric part, point the toe on the eccentric part. I know that's a lot, as you're doing it, it'll feel weird at first, and then you'll get better and better and better at it. So, four seconds on that eccentric while you're pointing that toe. And then the other leg. your hamstrings on fire there. Also, in between working hamstrings, always a good idea, flex the quads. As the quads are flexed, 
Hamstrings are stretching there. Walk around the gym like this, turn into a dance move. You know how we always do. Over time and overdue. All right, our next exercise for hamstrings. We're on the leg press. Don't get it twisted. This isn't gonna be for quads. How you make this a hamstring exercise? Two things, you get a lot of depth. So by the end of it, my knees should be all the way up in my chest. Should be, you know, able to give my knees a kiss here pretty much. The other thing is neutral stance, but we're gonna be almost as far up on the plate as we can, pushing through our heels. And what happens is that's really gonna work this part of the hamstrings, not so much the lower part, but more towards the glutes. So as we come down, nice and controlled, knees come as high as they can, and then I'm pushing, feeling that right there. And then of course, at the top of the movement, it is gonna finish off with a little bit of quad work in there. But that stretch at the bottom, it's all hamstrings and glutes. This is kind of a added bonus. I'm gonna do two sets of this. This one really is kind of a combination of both. So my knee on a, on a standard, uh, so you'll notice we talked about the hamstrings. And what I told you is they're involved in bringing the knee up or bending the knee right there. And then also in that sprinter position here, whether it could be, you know, hinging at the hip. This one kind of brings both of the best, both, this one brings the best of both worlds into it. So we're gonna start with the leg back and then just curl up here. Don't need a ton of weight here. We're gonna go 12 reps on this one. And you can even start from back here, bring it out and then curl it up as long as it's not all in one motion. So start here, bring it back, then curl it up. This one's gonna feel a little bit weird at first, but some, sometimes it's nice for like a hotel gym, we'll have this set up. So if you can't do your traditional hamstring stuff, this one is a great substitute or alternate. I'm just gonna throw two, in, two extra sets in just because I like the way they feel. Honestly, I love the feelings of your hamstrings pumped up. It's not one of those things when, when you think of a pump, you think of chest, arms, whatever. Hamstrings aren't typically the one you think of. But when you focus on just hamstrings and hamstrings alone, meaning I'm not doing any quads in this workout, it's really cool to get that hamstring pump. Um, what we're gonna finish off with right now is a good morning. So this is a superset. Now, if you're a typical bodybuilder that doesn't do any sprinting, this one's gonna probably tear you up because we're using a lot of those hinging muscles, really going to accentuate the, the hamstrings, but also lower back and really forcing that posterior chain to come into play here a little bit as well. So what we're gonna be doing first is the good morning. And a good morning, we got eight reps here, performing it just feet, a little bit, uh, I go a little bit closer than shoulder width, I'd say. And then just like I would with the squat, slight bend in the knee, I for, and I start by hinging at the hips, pushing the, the glutes backwards and bending at the waist, almost going to parallel with the ground and then back up. Push, push, push those glutes back, back up. Eight reps there. Straight into our dumbbell. Straight-legged deadlift here. So again, slight bend, have the dumbbells in front of you. you just go down as far as you can until that back wants to start rounding. You're gonna feel your lower, your lower back. You're gonna feel your lower back start to fatigue there too, but hopefully you're really forcing the glutes back, pushing through your heels to push back. A lot of hamstring gets involved there. You got 60 seconds, three more rounds. One thing on these, if you do have any kind of back problems, make sure you either wear a belt or before you go down on each rep, blow out all the air, pretend like someone's punching you in the stomach and you have that natural, that natural belt, that, nat that your ab muscles holding things in place. You don't wanna be loosey-goosey when you go down here and ha having your back start to 
roll over. It's a great way to get injured. I wanted to try this, this out. I want to have you guys start introing the video. So you send in your video submissions. I'll put a, a, an email link in the description of this. And what you guys do is just film yourself saying, hey, my name is so-and-so. You're watching Steve Cook. Be creative with it. And each week, we'll pick one person to intro a new video. It's a good way to bring people in and kind of make them, for all you people that have been watching the vlog, get some FaceTime, get your name out there, have fun with it. So just be crazy, be yourself, do whatever it is that you want to do, and we'll start picking winners to now intro the vlogs on this. So just a way of saying thank you guys. Really appreciate you. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for our hamstrings. If you do hamstrings earlier in the day, and then come back and do quads, you're able to give them a little bit more focus, or like I'm doing right now, I actually have a separate quad day, trying to get the legs back up. Like this video if you think I should do a classic physique show. I know I'd have to get all around bigger, but it might be a fun thing to do down the road, missing training, training hamstrings. But that was a good hamstring workout. Give it a go, let me know what you think. We're gonna put the description in it um, of all the exercises. So make sure you guys check out the Swole program in the link, that's what I've been following. Um, I kind of do the bodybuilding side of it. Jake does the other side. This was a workout that obviously we open up with some sprints. So we, we like to train the body kind of synergistically because doing something like sprints, if you haven't done them in a while, they're gonna wake up your hamstrings. You could, like I said earlier, just do sprints for a hamstring workout and feel it the next day. So incorporating a little bit of everything, multi-joint movements, that's what we're all about. Not just looking great, but also feeling great and performing well. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe and let me know in the comment box what you guys want to see next time. Thanks a bunch.